the question has given us an inequality the question also says that a and b are positive integers the question says that a upon b and a plus 1 upon b plus 1 they are integers right so let's decode a few things first before we actually solve the question what does this mean when i say a upon b is an integer and a and b they are positive integers right so let's take a few positive integers and see let's say a is 39 and b is 5 uh, a is 24 and b is 6 a is 17 b is 4 a is 11 b is 2 a is 8 b is 4 so is this an integer no this is not an integer is this an integer yes this is not an integer this is not an integer this is not an, uh, this is an integer i'm sorry so an observation that we can make is for an integer to happen we can say that a should be a multiple of b this is a very very crucial condition right so a has to be a multiple of b so we have established this fact now similarly if a plus 1 upon b plus 1 they are integers we can say that a plus 1 should be a multiple of 3 uh, multiple of b plus 1 i'm sorry so this is another fact that we can establish so we have two things a has to be a multiple of b and a plus 1 has to be a multiple of b plus 1 now let's take values and see so first we will start with b then we will see how, what are the values of a now from b we will see the values of a because a and b are linked via this a is a multiple of b so once i establish b i can find out a the multiples of b similarly then we will establish b plus 1 and lastly we will establish a plus 1 why because b plus 1 and a plus 1 are linked right i hope this much is clear so let's start assuming the values of b so let's say b is 1 so b is 1 means a has to be a multiple of b so it can be 1 2 3 every number till 40 right but we cannot take 1 because here the inequality says that a has to be greater than b so when b is 1 a can take all values from 2 till 40 fine now if b is 1 b plus 1 should be 2 okay and when b plus 1 is 2 we have established this fact this one that a plus 1 is a multiple of b plus 1 so a plus 1 should be a multiple of 2 multiple of 2 means we will have a plus 1 as 2 4 6 8 38 40 right so we have found these values now let's see when a plus 1 is 2 what is the value of a a is 1 when a plus 1 is 2 a is 1 but a is a equal to 1 is not here so 2 cannot be a possibility now a plus 1 equals 4 when a plus 1 is 4 a should be 3 is 3 there yes so 3 is allowed now a plus 1 is 6 so a would be 5 so 5 will of course be here because this part the value of a has every number right 2 3 4 5 6 7 every number so a plus 1 equals 6 means 5 is there similarly a plus 1 is 8 means 7 is there when we reach the last points a will be equal to 37 i'm doing this directly you do it on your board later on so a plus 1 is 40 a will be 39 so we have these many values now there are two things to observe here see this this has a gap of 2 right uh, we will use this information in a while as of now just observe that it has a gap of 2 fine how many values are here 3 5 7 till 39 the number of values is 39 minus 3 upon 2 plus 1 this will give us 
19 values so when b is 1 a can have 19 values right similarly proceeding for b equals 2 now when b is equal to 2 a is a multiple of b so a is a multiple of 2 so a can be 2 4 6 8 till 38 40 but a can't be 2 because of the inequality a has to be greater than b so we have established the values of b and a now if b is 2 b plus 1 is 3 now you can do these things quickly b plus 1 is 3 and because a plus 1 is a multiple of 3 a plus 1 could be 3 6 9 uh, 36 and 39 now again we will follow the similar logic if a plus 1 equals 3 a has to be 2 it is not there if a plus 1 equals 6 so a will be 5 it is not there when a plus 1 equals 8 uh, I'm sorry when a plus 1 equals 9 a will become 8 which is present here so 8 is an acceptable value of a then we have what now now see the idea now how will you identify the next element now you can't keep on uh, finding it out for every number right so this is where this gap part helps now what is this gap of 2 the gap of 2 2 can be seen as 1 into 2 this one into 2 so now here we have 2 3 this will have a gap of 6 let's try the first element is 8 and the gap is 6 so the next should be 14 let's uh, test this 14 if a is 14 a plus 1 is 15 15 will be here because it's a multiple of 3 so 14 is valid and so on now how do we know how many elements are there one way of doing it is observe that 8 14 they are in an AP and the gap is 6 so the general term can be written as 6 and plus 2 now, if the general term can be written as 6 plus 2 the maximum value of n can be 6 because then this number will become 6 into 6 36 plus 2 38 within this range 38 is within this range so n is 6 so here this 6 tells me that the value of a will be there are 6 values of a when b is 2 there are 6 values of a all right uh, this could be a bit mind-boggling so let's do one more for 3 when b is 3 when b is 3 now let's do this quickly when b is 3 b plus 1 would be how much 4 and because b is 3 so the a will be multiples of 3 3 6 9 till 39 but we can't take 3 now if b plus 1 is 4 if b plus 1 is 4 then a plus 1 should be a multiple of 4 so 4 8 12 36 and 40 and from the gap we can say that okay gap would be 3 into 4 3 into 4 gap is 12 so now let's identify the first term if a plus 1 is 4 it is 3 a plus 1 is 4 become uh, makes a equals 3 but a equals 3 is not allowed now a plus 1 equals 8 so a becomes 7 it is not there so this is not a case a plus 1 is 12 so a is 11 it's not here so not allowed a plus 1 is 15 a plus 1 is not 15 it would be 16 a plus 1 is 16 a plus 1 is 16 so a is 15 15 will be here because it's a multiple of 5 so a can be 15 now because we have identified the first element and we know that the gap is 12 the second element would be 27 the second element would be 27 and then when we add another 12 the next element would be 39 so these three values will satisfy so we have three values okay so the idea in this particular question is we will keep on 
assuming the values of 3 uh, we will keep on assuming the values of b 4 5 6 and after a point of time there will be no value so let's continue this uh, i'll do two more so when b is 4 b is 4 b plus 1 is 5 b plus 1 is 5 means gap has to be of 20 when b is 4 a has to be a multiple of 4 so 4 8 12 36 and 40 we can't take 4 now because b plus 1 is 5 so a plus 1 has to be a multiple of 5 so 5 10 15 35 40 now if a plus 1 is 5 a plus 1 is 5 a has to be 4 not there in this list a plus 1 is 10 a is 9 not there in the list a plus 1 is 15 a is 14 not there in the list a plus 1 is 20 a is 19 not there in the list a plus 1 is 25 a plus 1 is 25 a would be 24 24 multiple of 4 so 24 has to be the acceptable value now once we have established this 24 which is the first element now we know that the gap has to be 20 so the next element would be 44 which is not in our range because the maximum value sorry because the maximum value of this one uh, the maximum value of a is 40 okay so yeah so there is only one acceptable value which is 24 so there is one value okay proceeding ahead uh, let's say b is 5 if b is 5 then b plus 1 is 6 5 6 gap of 30 and when b is 5 the multiples of 5 are 5 10 15 40 and so on 5 won't be there now when b plus 1 is 6 a plus 1 would be 6 12 18 till 36 now when a plus 1 is 6 a will be 5 which is not present in the list so this won't be the value of a plus 1 if a plus 1 is 12 so it a would be 11 not there if a plus 1 is 18 17 not there if a plus 1 is 24 23 not there if a plus 1 is 30 29 not there if a plus 1 is 36 if a plus 1 is 36 then a is 35 35 exists here so 35 is an acceptable value and because the gap is 30 there won't be any other number because the next number is 65 so 35 is the only possibility we have one value now i leave it to you so i have done till 5 now when you proceed further so let's say you have b is 6 and b plus 1 is 7 the gap would be 42 multiples of 6 would be 12 18 24 30 36 you can see the numbers are reducing right so the testing will stop after a time uh, there will be no value so let's see so we have uh, b is 6 we have done this and b plus 1 is 7 and a plus 1 is multiple of 7 so 7 14 21 28 35 now a plus 1 is 7 means a will be 6 not there 14 13 not there 21 20 not there 28 27 not there not there means they are not in this list and 35 34 not there so we won't have any value and as you go further as you keep increasing b to 7 8 9 till whatever 38 39 wherever it uh, stops for all these cases there won't be any value okay so our total number of solutions is how much we have 19 here 19 plus 6 25 25 plus 3 28 28 plus 1 29 and we have one more this 
so we have a total of we have a total of 30 values that's the answer so um, the moral of the story is if you ever get a question like this skip skip in cat there would be other much easier questions this uh, i solved this question just to tell you some of the fundas a is a multiple of b a plus one is a multiple of b it might help in some other question right okay